Hey guys! I hope that you guys are doing amazing wherever you are in the world. My name is Boom Shekha, as always, and I'm so grateful that you guys are listening to my videos, that you guys are learning from it, that you're appreciating it. I've been getting a lot of great messages from you guys loving my videos, and I am so grateful that that's happening. In this video, I wanted to speak to you guys about how INFJs don't really fit into any specific group. And I noticed this for myself really adamantly because I have this desire, or as, as a general human being, I have this desire to have a tribe, a, a, a sect of people or a group of people that I fit in with, that are my tribe, they're my people, they're the ones who understand me, they're the ones who jive with me, they're the ones who I can speak to without um, modifying my thoughts or without censoring myself, right? And so all of us on this planet, I think every human being is looking for that tribe, that family, that group of people. And my, even if it's just one or two people, we're looking for those people. Unfortunately, what happens to an INFJ is not only because of our chameleon effect or our chameleon mode that we go into, so we can kind of emulate a wide variety of people, we can pretend to be like them, so everyone kind of thinks that we're part of their group when we're not really part of their group. But also because we are unsure and we're still growing all the time and we're always exploring ourselves, we're always learning about ourselves, we're trying to figure out who we really are by plugging ourselves into different roles and seeing if it fits, do we like it? You know, we'll, we'll go to a different group and we'll, or we'll go to different events and we'll, we'll try it out just to see if that's something that we are because we won't know if we are that until we try it out. As I said, I've been taking a lot of random lessons and going to a lot of different groups just to kind of fit myself into different, you know, kind of like trying out different pieces together, puzzle pieces together to see if it fits or not. Sometimes it fits in, sometimes it doesn't fit in. But until I actually try it, I won't know if I can fit in or not. Because a lot of times we're confused about ourselves because a lot of times we've been told from a really young age that we are something that we're not. I'm always trying to make sure that I don't use previous experience as a sort of um, rule for the future. So if, if, if I didn't like movies in the past, it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm not going to like movies right now, right? So we're always changing, we're forever transmuting and transforming ourselves as personalities. So who knows what we're going to be like, right? And so we're always trying to fit into different groups and that's what I do. Uh, with myself in Chiang Mai, wherever go, I go actually, but specifically in Chiang Mai, I'm going to speak to the groups that I've been hanging out with here. And there are many different kinds of people that come to Chiang Mai, but there's very different distinct groups that I've been part of, that I've been you know, kind of trying to fit myself into. And one of the groups is obviously the hippie community. And they're awesome, they, you know, they're really great about being vegetarian or vegan and they're taking care of the environment, they're trying to reduce their waste, they're trying to learn more about themselves, they're very spiritual, they do all these different ceremonies like combo ceremonies and ayahuasca ceremonies, um, they meditate, you know, they do all of those things that, you know, that hippie people do. And then there's this other sect of people, or this other group of people, which is the digital nomad community, which is the nerdy community, the geeky community, I guess. And they're the ones who are interested in making money online or opening up an online business of various kinds. So they might have um, a blogging online, uh, a blog online, or they might be a, co a life coach, or they might be doing um, drop shipping. Uh, or uh, Shopify stores, or they might uh, have uh, a fulfillment by, fulfillment by Amazon business. And so there's different kinds of businesses these people are running, but they're all really technical and nerdy and geeky. They love computers. They carry their computer with them everywhere, and they're the kind of people who are interested in money. Not necessarily that those two groups do not intersect. Obviously, I do, because I'm part of both of them. And there's a lot of people who are part of both of those communities. So they, they're uh, nerdy and technical and still meditate and take care of the environment and are vegetarian or vegan, you know, things like that. So there are obviously, it's not mutually exclusive, there are uh, interlapping, there are interlapping or overlaps between those two groups, absolutely. But they're just, I'm just giving you an example of the two kind of groups that I have been trying to intersect myself into or interject myself into. And I've been doing this for the last three years and I've noticed something about myself. It's such a weird thing. 
because I really try when I am with a specific group to merge myself with that specific group. So if I am in the hippie community, I'll dress a little bit more hippie-ish. Um, I'll, uh, I'll have like feathers in my, my ears, you know, I have feather earrings and I'll, I'll wear a little bit more colorful outfit and, you know, I'll talk in a different manner. I'll talk more about my feelings or spirituality or other things like that rather than focusing on the business stuff that I'm doing. So obviously I'll, I'll kind of kind of make myself a little bit different. Not necessarily different. I'll, I'll pull out different personality traits in order to mingle with the right kind of crowd, with the different kind of crowds, right? So recently I went to a music festival and I had to completely unplug for that because I didn't want to work for those three days. And so I didn't think about business at all. I was just roaming around, dancing, eating vegetarian food, and just having a great, good, hippie time, right? Completely different from when I came back to reality and I went back to work and I was focused and I, I worked straight through until I had to go to Japan with my sister and I, I was really focused on my business. I did not think about any spirituality stuff at all. I didn't think about anything related to, except obviously for my meditation every morning. I didn't really focus on my hippie nature at all, right? And so I've noticed for myself is that one of the things that I, I dislike about this aspect of myself is that I'm neither part, completely part of the hippie community, nor am I completely part of the digital nomad community. I feel like I have my feet, both of my feet, one of my feet in this community and one of my feet in the other one, right? But I'm not completely like, it's not like my complete body is in one community or another. And it feels like I'm just kind of playing a role when I go to these different communities. So I, I go into the hippie community and I, I kind of am standing off to the side. I'm, I know that there are people around me and they're, you know, really integrated into it. And when I look at them, they're, they are that community, you know, they're part of it. And I see pictures of them online and they're completely ingrained into the community. But I go into these communities or I go to these events and I know that I am part of it, but not completely integrated into it. And then the same thing with the, the digital nomad thing. I'll go to all these events and sometimes I'll be sitting there and someone's going to be talking to me or someone's telling me a story. And I think to myself, oh my God, I can't believe I'm here actually right now. I, I'm so bored or I, I can't understand what this person's talking about because they're talking gibberish or they're just being too cocky or they're being an idiot or whatever it might be and I just sit and think to myself I, I, I can't I don't want to be here anymore that's one of the reasons why I stopped going to these digital nomad community meetups because I just felt a little bit out of place it doesn't mean that I don't understand the technical aspects of it I understand what they're doing business-wise I understand what they're doing um, technically but in general terms, having a conversation with these people, I, I felt, as I said, out of place. I didn't feel like I was completely able to integrate myself, even though I tried really hard. And I tried with both of these communities. And those are not the only two communities. There are other communities as well. These are just the two that I, I am, I feel like I could be part of, right? And it's one of the things I wanted to do this video for is because I want you guys to realize that you might have the sense of not fitting in as well. And it's not something that comes from the fact that you're not trying hard enough or you're not doing the right things or you're not being the right kind of person. It's just that we have this tendency as an energy to merge ourselves with whatever's going on around us or to meld ourselves into it. We melt into it. We're like a melting pot, if you want to call it that. And so we're just, we just kind of integrate ourselves into it. But we don't completely integrate ourselves into it. We kind of take a step forward. You know, we're kind of dipping our toes in a little bit. And perhaps we're dipping in all the way to our knees, but not our complete bodies. We're not completely there. And this is one of the things that, one of the reasons why I sometimes have a hard time being around these people. And that's the reason I spend a lot of time in my room is because I love them to death. I love both of these communities to death. They're good people. They're kind. They're generous. They're nice, great people. But as I said, I go into these meetups sometimes and I think to myself, oh my God, what am I doing here? Again, it's not like I don't understand what they're saying or I don't um, appreciate what they're saying. I understand it, I can appreciate it, but I just, I, it's sometimes too much. And to find someone like me who is completely, in, who has her feet in both of these sectors, but not completely, or both of these kind of groups, but not completely, that's 
kind of a hard thing to do, right? I'm not saying that people like that don't exist. Obviously, they do. And a few of my friends who are my friends, who I love to death, are those kind of people. They are my friends because they are the kind of people who have merged themselves, not completely, but into both of those communities, but they're part of it. And they can talk to both of those um, conversations. They can talk to both of those topics, but they're still their own person. They're, they're not, it's not their identity. It's not like, oh, I'm a hippie and this is my identity and this is what I do completely. Or it's not like I'm a digital nomad and, and this is my identity and I don't think about anything else or I am not anything else. It's that you kind of form your unique personality or unique identity based on all the different things you're doing, right? To find a person, a unique person like you is going to be extremely difficult because you have unique life experiences, unique things that you've done that no one else has done in that combination, right? The kind of life that I've led, no one else on this planet has led this life, not as a brag, but as a reality where everyone is going to have a different sort of life. No one grew, grew up in, or was born in India and then was raised in the Middle East and then moved to Canada and is now living in Chiang Mai, who likes manga, who is a hippie and a digital nomad, who does YouTube videos on INFJ, who is, uh, is a vegetarian, who um, is an empath, who's highly sensitive, etc. You know what I'm saying? Like that kind of paradigm, that kind of mix of personality traits and life experiences is absolutely unique. And just like your DNA, it's completely unique and no one else is going to have that combination ever. And so to, in order for us to fit into those groups, it's kind of obviously difficult. Uh, I'm not saying that it's a, it's a bad thing or it's a good thing. It's just what it is, right? I hope this makes sense to you guys. I hope I was able to explain myself to you. It's, it's a little bit annoying at times to be that person who doesn't fit in anywhere. You think to yourself, oh, I wish I had this place where I could go in and, and fit in completely. It's a good thing and a bad thing as well because it's a good thing real, re realizing that you are a unique individual that has these beautiful traits. It's a bad thing when you realize that there's no, there's no group that you can go into and say, oh, you know, I'm part of this tribe. Well, that's just the way it is, I guess, right? Again, if you guys have any questions at all about this topic or any other topics at all, please let me know. All my contact information is in the description below. And I shall see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.